foods you should never reheat, why it can be dangerous. We all love the convenience of reheating leftovers for a quick and easy meal. However, not all foods are safe to reheat. Reheating certain foods can lead to the growth of harmful bacteria, the formation of toxic compounds, and even a loss of nutritional value. In this video, we'll explore the dangerous truth behind reheating specific foods, the risks associated with them, and how to handle leftovers safely to protect your health. When we cook food, it's usually heated to a temperature that kills off harmful bacteria. However, if cooked food is left at room temperature for too long or not stored properly, bacteria can multiply and produce toxins that are not destroyed by reheating. Additionally, reheating certain foods at high temperatures can lead to chemical changes that may produce harmful compounds. Let's delve into specific foods that you should avoid reheating. Rice. Cooked rice is a common leftover, but it can pose a risk if not handled properly. Rice contains spores of Bacillus cereus, a bacterium that produces toxins that are resistant to high temperatures. When cooked rice is left at room temperature, these spores can multiply, leading to the production of toxins that are not destroyed by reheating. To minimize the risk, it's essential to cool cooked rice quickly after cooking and store it in the refrigerator within an hour. When reheating rice, make sure it's thoroughly heated to steaming hot and avoid keeping reheated rice for too long. Potatoes. Reheating cooked potatoes can lead to the formation of acrylamide, a potentially carcinogenic compound. Acrylamide forms when potatoes are cooked at high temperatures, such as when frying or baking. Reheating potatoes, especially at high temperatures, can increase the acrylamide content. Instead of reheating potatoes, store cooked potatoes in the refrigerator and consume them cold or at room temperature to minimize the risk. Chicken. Chicken is a common source of foodborne illness, especially if not cooked thoroughly or stored properly. Reheating cooked chicken may not eliminate all bacteria, increasing the risk of foodborne illness. It's crucial to store cooked chicken in the refrigerator promptly, consume it within a few days, and reheat it thoroughly until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees centigrade to kill any bacteria present. Spinach and other leafy greens. Reheating spinach and other leafy greens can lead to the formation of nitrosamines, compounds that are linked to an increased risk of cancer. Nitrosamines are formed when nitrates, naturally present in leafy greens, react with amino acids during reheating. To minimize the formation of nitrosamines, it's best to consume cooked spinach and leafy greens immediately after cooking and avoid reheating them. Mushrooms. Mushrooms contain proteins that can degrade quickly, leading to the formation of harmful compounds when reheated. Reheating mushrooms can also promote bacterial growth and increase the risk of foodborne illness. It's best to consume cooked mushrooms immediately after preparation and avoid reheating them. Eggs. Reheating eggs can lead to the growth of harmful bacteria such as salmonella, which can cause food poisoning. It's important to refrigerate cooked eggs promptly and consume them as soon as possible. When reheating eggs, make sure they are heated thoroughly until they are piping hot to kill any bacteria present. Oils, reheating oils, especially at high temperatures, can cause them to break down and form harmful compounds such as trans fats and free radicals. Consuming reheated oils regularly may increase the risk of heart disease and other health issues. It's best to use fresh oils for cooking and avoid reheating them multiple times. Seafood. Reheating seafood such as fish and shellfish can lead to the formation of histamine, a compound that can cause allergic reactions in some individuals. Histamine levels increase when seafood is stored at improper temperatures or reheated, posing a risk to sensitive individuals. It's essential to store seafood properly in the refrigerator and consume it within a few days to minimize the risk of histamine formation. Celery. Reheating celery can lead to the formation of nitrites, which can react with certain compounds to form nitrosamines, potentially harmful compounds linked to an increased risk of cancer. It's best to consume cooked celery immediately after preparation and avoid reheating it. Breast milk. Reheating breast milk can destroy essential nutrients and beneficial antibodies present in the milk, reducing its nutritional value for infants. It's important to handle and store breast milk properly and avoid reheating it to preserve its nutritional quality. In conclusion, while reheating leftovers is convenient, 
It's essential to be aware of the potential risks associated with certain foods. By understanding which foods should never be reheated and following proper storage and reheating practices, you can minimize the risk of foodborne illness and protect your health. Remember to cool leftovers quickly, store them properly in the refrigerator, and reheat them thoroughly to steaming hot before consumption. By prioritizing food safety, you can enjoy delicious meals without compromising your health. Please subscribe to the channel for more informative videos regarding your health. Thank you for watching.